Thank you. So um, welcome to this town hall. So a couple of things I know uh, when we announced uh, this town hall, um, uh, you know, I, I know several members of our staff team and support team and, and some others had, had started um, getting a lot of questions about is lineage shutting down? Um, the simple answer to that is no, um, but there are going to be some changes uh, moving forward. Um, so one of those is, let, let me kind of go with with what we are planning to do and, and what staff has been discussing um, for the last week or so about some of the stuff that's in city. And then we'll kind of go over what, what the plan is and then we'll open it up for everybody to chat. Um, the first thing is, is for, for, I, I guess I should, should preface this too. Um, we are going to, um, later on this month, shift focus to, um, the next major framework launch or, or not framework launch, the next iteration of the server, um, encoding. So, you know, we'd previously last year announced that, you know, a wipe would happen sometime in 2022, um, that is going to come with a, um, some massive changes to, to some stuff in the server and how some things work. Um, and we're going to, we need some time to actually do that. And when I say some things, I mean, we are going to start from scratch and rebuild the server, um, every aspect of the server moving forward. Um, that's going to give our design team some, some time to go through clothing and, uh, bring in a whole ton of new clothing um, that, that we've been sorting through and, um, we're, we're going to, every aspect of the server is going to be looked at and what we like, what we don't like, uh, what we want to keep, what we want to get rid of, what we want to bring in is all going to be determined. Um, and then that will all happen in a 3.0 launch. Um, prior to that, um, what is going to happen for the time being is, uh, a few things. The first one is uh, we're going to lessen some of the, um, I don't, don't want to say it, we're, we're going to change some functionality in some, uh, even some RP rule type things, um, in-game rule type things like, like police sentencing and things like that are going to be changed for the time being to focus on um, allowing people to actively RP as much as possible and not necessarily spend hours and hours in, in jail um, and, uh, you know, or, or crafting or hours and hours doing, you know, searching for, for stuff for, for different robberies and things like that. Um, so we're going to, over the next couple of weeks, uh, number one, we're going to make some, some more changes to the crafting. I know some um, went live this morning, a, a little bit less in. Um, we're, we're going to kind of revamp some of that stuff to make it easier um, for the duration of the 2.x lifespan of the server. Um, so you're going to see, uh, you know, levels go down on that and what's required and, and things are going to open up for crafting. Um, number two is a police max sentence um, with the exception of some of, of uh, a couple ongoing storylines is going to be um, either 30 or 60 minutes. Uh, staff hasn't made the final determination. I think we're leaning towards 30, um, which is what we did in 1.0. Uh, so we will move that back down to 30-minute uh, max jail time to allow people to come back out after sentencing. Um, the other big change is uh, for the duration of the 2.x lifespan, um, we will be removing the whitelist requirements for the server. Uh, players will be required to join the Discord and accept the rules, um, and they'll get a the 5M role. Um, the reason that we are doing this is for the 3.0 launch, it, it is a major launch for us um, that is going to be, come with a whitelist wipe. It is going to come with a story wipe and, um, of course, a player wipe. Um, now, I'm going to touch on that Right now, we, we previously said that any bought cars through Tebex will carry over. That will still happen. 
that that is still planned to happen. We're not changing that. Just how that happens is a little bit different. Uh, and we'll put some information out about that once we get closer. Tentatively, we are looking at March, um, sometime in March, as to when the 3.0 launch will happen. Um, the goal that, that we have in mind as to um, do this wipe is it, it is completely rebooting everything um, and starting from scratch, from stories and everything. I know some people have kind of gotten their characters into, into some stories that now as they look back, they, you know, they kind of regret and stuff. So we're giving, giving everybody the chance to start from scratch. Um, Hell yeah. I'm pretty excited for that. I, I think, you, you, you know, people are going to see Liam Jones come back um, as my cop character. Um, and then, the, you know, some other stuff too. Some other people will have the option to bring their characters that were previously permed back because the story is, is resetting. Um, so to answer your question, yes, this is a memory wipe so people don't necessarily know each other. Um, I, I want to say that loosely because people that have relationships um as far as you know um liam jones knows nitro right you know he would know nitro's character the storyline has wiped but their actual knowing of each other um being both police doesn't necessarily reset because they're still police characters right um, and we'll put out some guidance on how to work that all. Um, but the story arcs, the lore of the city is resetting. Um, I don't know if Kraken or Shaggy kind of want to expand on that a little bit. Uh, just a fresh start for everybody. Uh, the community has been through a lot, as everybody knows. Some of you we haven't seen in quite a while. Thank you for showing up tonight. Um, but it's just in order to move lineage forward, we need to completely redo all the lore and start over for the characters and everything. Um, that does give you guys a chance to bring back characters that were killed off or leaving them dead. Um, I think it would be a good opportunity to reset a lot of things that need to be reset and move on with the people who want to be here. Um, talking. yeah, I know I was, I was reading what, what Kitty said. So memory wipe doesn't work for future storylines for everyone though. Um, it is a storyline wipe. So any existing storylines will end when 3.0 happens. Um, so whatever had happened, whatever backstory or whatever that can change moving into 3.0. Um, so you won't remember, you know, Hey, Shaggy was this horrible yakuza person that killed lou right that won't have happened um that'll be completely erased although we don't officially know that shaggy killed lou i i should have um changed that a little bit um so that that is changing um uh anyway let's move on and with here that, with <laughs> that as always like if if you knew this person you want to know this person you could know them wow well, you can maybe incorporate some of the history into your backstory if, if it makes sense for you for that. But when 3.0 comes out, it will be fresh stories, fresh everything for that. So I hope that explains that. If you guys have any more questions, we can answer that at a later time. Yeah. Um, but yes, to answer um, the, the question, I think uh, Lou already answered it. Does that mean that you can change your accents and stuff? Yes, because it is, it is going to be a fresh start. Um, all gangs, everything resets. Um, I want to, I want to touch on the whitelist cause Nitro just, just caught that. I want to touch on that. Um, because I think that was an important part that some people didn't hear. Um, with the three auto launch, there is a whitelist wipe. What that means is we will be removing the five M role at the time of three auto and we will have the new whitelist role. Okay. However, there's two situations which will um, allow you to get a 3.0 whitelist role. Number one is remaining active for the remainder of the time in 2.0, okay? 
Um, that's the first one. So you're here, you're playing, you're active, um, you're in the server, you're helping us out. Um, you know, all of that, you can, you can get your 3.0 whitelist um, in advance without having to put in an application again. If you do not meet activity requirements, which staff will, will set up and review, then you will have to reapply for whitelisting um, at, at the 3.0 launch. And, and the whitelist app will, will be released a couple weeks before we actually do it. Um, the way that, that it'll work with the transition is once we are to a point where we are okay with players coming in and that we're not wiping a database, a fresh server will be set up for players to come in and create their characters. Um, we are changing a few things with the character creation system again. So that is why we are we are doing a full wipe. And then also we're, we're going to have some massive database changes moving forward with some stuff that we are changing. Okay. Um, so the... Uh, probably about two weeks before the launch, we will allow um, people to come in and do a, a new, to create their new character. Anybody that already has the 3.0 whitelist role will be given the ability to create those characters. Um, and then at that time, the, the folks that have purchased stuff on Tebex and all that will be able to put in a ticket. And that's how we're going to go through the fulfillment process of, of kind of giving people back cars and things like that on characters, which means... Um, there's a couple ways that we'll do that. I'm not going to get into that too much right now because some of that's still being ironed out and will be ironed out as we get closer. Remember guys, this is still at least, um, you know, March 1st is still a month and a half away. So we still have some time here to, to iron this out and figure that stuff out. Okay. Um, I think, does everybody understand that? And if somebody has a question about, about the specific whitelist, they can also just, just come on and ask this. This is an open meeting. Um, I just don't want to get too crazy with, with too much conversation. Um, while we're going through this initial part, does everybody good on that? Everybody understand that? I I got a question. Yep. Go ahead. So for example, the Yakuza, mm -hmm. you know, been we've been yakuza for a while now. are we able to be are you you're you're cutting out i i think i, I think got he's asking if the yakuza would carry over so um, no 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 uh, as a as a whole not just the yakuza's but are we able to carry over the fact that we're part of a group or do activity, we have to start over as long as activity for the until 3.0 launches um would be the key that's what we're looking for is activity and carrying that stuff over um you know, something that hasn't been active in two months. I mean, why would we carry that over? We're going to give somebody else an opportunity for it. Correct. So to expand on that, if you guys have an existing group, okay. Um, and I don't want to say, I, I want to, I want to be careful how I say this because some things are still going to require um, conversation between us in that group, um, like clubhouses and things like that. Um, the, the way that, that gangs in specific are going to, going to work is going to be a little bit different. Um, but we'll, we'll touch on that as we get closer to that time frame. Um, there's still going to be an SOP to become a recognized gang. Um, but then there, you don't necessarily need an SOP to be a gang. You just won't be an official gang. Kind of like what we do now. We have a couple groups that really don't have an SOP in, but they've become in a, you know, a semi official group. Um, as long as those groups are still active, they can continue to be in that group. However, nobody else knows that those people are in that group. So I, I, I guess just kind of expanding on, on the story wipe. So if, if the Yakuza is a group in the three auto launch, nobody really knows them, right? Because everybody's kind of new to town, like Kraken said. So they're past stories and issues with other people in the city wouldn't exist because you're new. It, it's a fresh start, but they can still be that group and still carry on that. Um, for those that, you know, we have some people that are married and stuff in the city, though that can carry on. You can still be married, but you're, you're kind of coming into the city as married, but you don't remember, you know, what happened in the past. So, so, you know, if, if everybody that was at your wedding wouldn't really know that you're married, just the two people would know. 
I, I, does that kind of make sense how I've, how I've clarified that? Yeah, it does make sense. Okay. Um, what about active, active businesses will be allowed to carry on. Um, there may be some, a few changes that we're going to make to those. And we'll talk to those business owners as it gets closer. Um, when I say changes to the business changes to just how some of that works, uh, and there will be functionality changes like mechanics for one, um, will be in a, a completely, I don't want to say completely new. There is going to be a new way of doing things for the mechanics that will be introduced in the new update. Um, so, you know, some of those changes that we've been tinkering with and kind of introduced some functionality and stuff like that, that will all be completed or, or new systems may be in place. So some of the way that you do stuff will change, uh, but you don't necessarily have to in. go through, um, sorry, hang on one second. You don't necessarily have to go through a re, um, application process as long as your, your business is active. Um, now for the few businesses that we do have that haven't really been set up either on our end or, um, activity wise that that isn't there, then those will be discussions that we have as to how we're going to implement those things moving forward. Um, and we'll have those discussions with you. Um, you can open up a ticket and we'll, we'll talk to you about that. Um, go ahead, Goth. Because that's also why I haven't been active, because I've been waiting on a, a business for seven months. Because <laughs> I put my SOP in it? seven months ago. Yeah, the stuff you wanted, we had to get a system that we could do that with, and now we have it. So, But again, you know, when you're inactive, we don't push that for limited development time. They work on what they can to debug fixes and bring stuff in, so... It is still something that we want to do, the, the stuff that was in the SOP as, as far as the fishing and stuff goes. Mm -hmm. So that will still be worked on, but, you know, get back into the city, you know, be around. And, you know, that's, that's all I can say is activity at this point is going to be key going forward. Um, you know, I'll talk to you more about that also. You know, kind of there are some situations you, you were going through also, so that kept you away. Uh, but activity is key. If, if you guys want the stuff that you have, uh, you got to be active uh, for 3.0. We're not going to hold up stuff and have people that don't want to be here running things. If that makes sense. Uh, I got one question. Um, oh, obviously, Jingles knows about this and some of the stuff. I actually know that I've been having a lot of computer problems. You guys are saying that we have to be active until 3.0 to keep that 5M 3.0 badge and all that stuff. How is that going to be affecting on me? Because every time I've been in City, whether I've been on my cop character and on my criminal character, Nitro's seen half the time that I've constantly head popped in City. And so has others, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I think... Most of the questions that, that have been put out so far, like will PD or EMS have to reapply? If you are active PD or EMS at the time that 3.0 continues, you will be able to continue to be PD and EMS, but you are free to change the name of your character or whatever if you so wish. Um, but we'll, we'll get into that as we get closer. Um, if as you haven't been active since October. September, correct. You, um, well, I don't, yeah. I think for the most part, at least on the PD side, those that aren't in that, those that aren't inactive or are purged from the roster every 30 or 60 days, whatever retired has been doing. Yes. Yeah. So like on the PD side, I know that that's not necessarily going to be a case because we'll, we just remove you from the roster. And if you're not on the roster at the 3.0 launch, you won't be on the roster. You will have to reapply. Um, for instance, things like the VU, which that SOP has now been, um, I think, officially closed um, because it was not active, that will be something that will be up. The way that businesses will work, I will tell you, is that there are going to be some businesses that we put out a list and say, hey, we have these things ready and we'd like to see businesses here. If you are interested you, in taking one of these businesses, then you are free to put in an SOP to manage that business. Um, and then if you have some other idea or something that isn't in the city already, or, or that we don't put on that list, um, then, you know, at that point, you're free to just submit an SOP a, a, as usual. Um, 
Sorry if this has been asked to answer. Will SOP submissions be open to included at the start of 3. Dot? Yeah, as we get closer, we will probably open some SOP stuff back up um, for the opening of 3.0. Yes. Um, the, I, I will say, uh, Zaddy, the, the goal with 3.0 um, is really two parts. One, it is to allow for group role play. I, I, I want to make sure I'm saying this right. Group, not gang. So allow for certain activities with groups to enhance role play. Okay. Two is it will be less of a grind. Um, there will not be, it will not be as grindy as it is today. Um, if, um, for instance, you know, for the, for the remainder of 2.0, I, I, I guess I can say it now. It's kind of been the case. Last week, we pushed an update um, where we removed PD requirements for all robberies. I, we did not publicize that. We just did it. Um, so right now, anybody can technically do a robbery. Some of the items that you have to get for the robbery, you will see over the next week or so are more readily available and easier for you to obtain so you can experience that. Um, there's a couple reasons that we're doing this. The new bank robbery system is new. It is more difficult, more complex than the old one, and you need different things. We also need to make sure that we are getting thorough in-game testing of said system before 3.0 because the overall um bank robbery system at this point in time we're not planning on changing that so we want people to do that and report back to us like hey something's not working here so then we can go in as as a development team and, and make sure that that is you know fixed and and working as intended for 3.0 along with the beta testing for 3.0 which is a whole nother story um uh i i will answer that mount zona is not going to be making a return um, we're going to stay at pillbox for the time being. Um, I, I will answer that now and take, take the, the blow on that. Uh, the reason for that is, um, fire will be a thing at the start of 3.0. Um, because we, we have, we've obtained the, the basics, the base system for that. So those that are in EMS are going to also kind of be stationed at, at, um, fire stations and so the whole system so that's that's one of those things that i was talking about earlier that there's going to be major systems to the core operations of that job so therefore we will move towards putting that information out there in the future um does that make sense i said that you're never going to get a tank That was the goal, but the, the goal and, changed. Yeah, and, and the reason we keep saying activity is, is to reward those who have been loyal, who are here and who want to role play uh, more than punishing. It's, it's not a punishment for other people. It's just, you know, if you guys haven't been around, you're not actively pursuing your business. Why would you even want to at this point? You know, we, we want to reward the people who've been here, who've been active and help us, you know, with the testing stuff we need going forward. And, uh, you know, it gives everybody a chance to, to get in and have a fresh start and put the past behind everybody. Um, excuse me real quick, if I could ask a question. Um, I, my name's Frank Frankel in the game. I work at the Last Train Stop Diner, part owner. Um, we don't get a lot of traffic. So like, we don't typically spend a lot of time in there. So is that something that we would lose because we're not getting a lot of customers or is that just something that we have to I would say just active? try to, yeah, try to, you know, get in and just do some things. We, we understand the traffic is low. Um, we know who logs in and who doesn't. Um, and, you know, just do your best to, have, you know, have it open, you know, try to get to some events like the fight night, you know, represent yourself there and things like that just to show that you are active 
that makes sense? Yeah, thank you. This meeting sponsored by the last train diner. Um, yeah, so one of the things, make sure you're using too the in-game, you know, ads and Twitter to when, when you are in and at the location to put out that you're in and at the location um, to, to kind of push some of that, um, you know, traffic yeah. that way too. Yeah, yeah. We, we do as much as possible, but it's, you know, it, I guess it's the roll of the dice. Yeah, and, and you know we can see when you guys are active. You you know, like I said, try to do some of the events, put the stuff on Twitter. If people aren't coming there, we had a lot of businesses that people weren't supporting, and that's something we're trying to do with, uh, like maybe a food degradation thing going forward. We're moving food from the grocery stores or from the gas stations, so it's just like snacks, and then you have to have food, and you won't be able to stack fifty of it. I mean, there'd be no point. Yeah. So, okay. Sounds great. Can I speak that's on what, that though? Degradation means skinny cave up. It means if it... so, we did that with like mechanic shops. Like when the city got real slow and stuff, like there's nowhere to repair your car except for a mechanic shop if there's someone working. There's been a lot of instances where, and I hope we don't, we get past that point, right? And we're a little bit more busy, but in those times where you can't go get, like if you don't have anything at the stores or anything like that, you got to go somewhere where they serve you. We used, used to be able to get some food from the store, but it's going to be like candy and things like that that won't okay. give you as much food. Gotcha. Great. There will be an emphasis on player-owned store and, food. Yeah, and that's that's fine as long as someone's working those places. That's That was my biggest Her, concern because I had ran into several times. Yeah, but you can also like, go into like a store city, without no somebody. Mechanics. You can also go into a store and get food without people actually being there. So okay. at... at you know, Burger Shot and and uh, Zaibatsu and all those, they have a place where you can go buy food from them without actually somebody right. being on, on staff. So that will, will, will remain. Okay. Um, so you'll be able to get food, you know, from places. However, food will, will degrade and um, it its a, effectiveness a, a on it. over time will, will vary. Um, okay. yeah. And are we going to do anything for like mechanic shops? Say there's no mechanics working because that's happened quite frequently lately. Um, um, to get a repair, like a Benny shop, whenever there, like, is it possible to make a bay to where if there's no mechanics online where you can actually go to it? Yes, it is possible to do that. Okay. I don't want it to be used as an alternative by any means. I just want it to be available if yeah. there's no one on duty. So um, let, let me let me just kind of add to that. Some of those things we will evaluate and uh, some some things like mechanics or, or, or at least repairs um, and uh, what do I want to say. Um, there was there was another job or something that I I got it. So things like with EMS, right? So EMS, the self check in only works if I, I don't know, three or more EMS are on or something like that, or or if three or less EMS are on. I'm I'm guessing at that number. It's been a while since I've said it. Don't kill me if I'm wrong on it. Um, but it only works if if that's the case. We can do similar things for other functions like um car dealers and mechanics and things like that which kind of opens some of that stuff up as well can i ask a question on that go ahead so uh the mechanic shops or at least our shop only makes money on repairs uh, we don't make any money at all on customizations so um is there a way that we can make money on customizations or just make sure that like if somebody is actually clocked in and and on duty to so so that they don't go to the alternative can i ask a question real quick before we answer that do you get a paycheck at the at the mechanic shop why does the mechanic shop need to make money for any reason do you have to buy parts do you have to do any of that? That that's what I'm asking. Well, so 
just so that we understand. I mean, role play yeah. is not just about money. No, no, no. And, I know that. And businesses but... cannot be cash cows. I'm just going to keep it simple here. That, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to let Denrick talk on it. So, so can, I, can I answer that? So why would, why would I be an owner if I can't make any extra money? Because you're getting a paycheck from the government so, for that. So this, this is one of those things that, that we've talked about in the past is it's not about owning something to make money. That's not a quick way to make money. You should want to own or manage a, a business because you get the RP from doing so. It, it's not... It, 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 the the interaction yeah, you get money in, for in, repairs it's free right so you make that f whatever your shop charges right so you make that mon much money on repairs you yeah, make but money we also on have to do work for the um materials so so i send my workers what materials? out so i send my material my workers out for hours worth of material gathering and yeah they make money and it's not about making money. That's not the. That's not even the point I'm trying to make. What I'm trying to say is. Well, that's what you said, though. Is why would I want to own Jesus. something if I don't make extra money? No, my question is: Does it make RP sense to do a job and not get paid for it? Does it make sense in real life or anything? But right? you do get paid sense? for it. No, you get you get tick pay that's and like getting paid hourly pay. You're getting paid hourly. Or every 10 okay. minutes, you're getting a paycheck. I, I'm just saying what he's thinking, right? He's doing extra work, thinking he should get compensated what, for What that extra, extra work? work? Like, like they, I'm, I'm trying to understand what extra work is it? It's part of the job. Plus, if you're trying to, if you're trying to give your workers like a little pay grade, I did every, every week, every other week. You can ask Perfect. You can ask whoever's worked for me knows that I did. I honestly gave out money from the repairs. He has, he has given like 10k bonuses, whatever repairs we do or anything like that. So I can actually vouch for that. Bonnie, you can even attest to that. Have I not, for you g giving bonuses, I have you not, you can attest to that. So, so I, I have a question really quick. Is there something that you guys can sell? Like in EMS, we sell bandages and they kind of use that to pool to give bonuses every once in a while. So my question is, is there something that the mechanics can sell? Cleaning kits. To make Correct. that. Me and Frankie cool? talked about it. Uh, repair kits. Yes. Yeah. We, well, can, like, we, we, uh, we repair, sell repair kits. Okay, so yeah. maybe they can make get what? a limit where they can sell so many and... Why do you know, bonuses? It's not about money. It's about RP. Correct. I'm just saying. they did a good job. Wait, wait. They did a good job at the, doing their job, right? So I give them a bonus, right? That's what you do. You, you, you reward people, right? Okay, so like at AE, uh, Auto Exotic, we do, we do the same thing. Nick and I both, whatever goes into the repair fund or whatever we bill to PD, we split it up and divvy it out to bonuses to the employees that are actually showing up, clocking in, putting in the time, doing the work. Like we don't, we're not there to get rich. No. We, we, we basically hand out the bonuses just so the people that are actually showing up, putting in the time, have a little extra money in their pocket in the city. I do want to bring up one thing with businesses because I know, um, you know, you have like how mechanic shops when we talk about money, but then like chose where they got a commission. What? That's where I think they're saying, how come, you know, we have some businesses where they get a commission when they sell a car and others where they can't earn anything like that, where they have to rely on bonuses from the owner. I think there is a discrepancy there with businesses. Uh, we're, I think we're doing away with that, right? Commissions? Um, correct. Uh, there, right. there won't, yeah. No, nobody's going to get an automatic commission. I would like to bring up one thing. Um, a group of us had gotten together and opened up a nightclub for the nothing to do with money, more or less to bring, a, you know, a spot where the community could come together, listen to music, role play, the nightclub lifestyle, sit and talk, um, just have fun. 
Okay. And it, it really so boggles me how it, um, when I open it up, nobody shows up until I offer it, something. I when we did our grand opening, we gave away like right four cars, cars, or two cars and um, two motorcycles. As soon as the giveaway was done, it was a ghost town. And there's been many times nobody showed up until I say, hey, I forgot to mention about a giveaway. And then people will come down. Nice. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, there, there needs to, you know, these businesses that open, um, yes, you know, it, it is kind of on, on some of the business owners to bring in that initial pool, um, to, you know, for their opening and having activities and stuff, but we as a community need to be better at, um, at supporting those those businesses 100 percent agree that we need to be better at that um f from doing it i mean i, I mean that's that's what uh, we're, we're kind of almost going backwards here that's what the server this is a role play server right so those interactions which we've talked about so much um are what the what it should be about right so if there is a um if if the goal is to look for an interaction and there's a business that's open and doing something why wouldn't you want to go there and and be a part of that um it, it kind of goes back to 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 my point on um that i was making before the the it got a little out of hand there with the mechanic stuff like the the Every job here, no job in the city is being paid from the, the funds of that job, right? So, you know, the, the city is paying all of those. We are, we're just creating money and giving it to people that are doing a job. We don't require SOPs to pay their employees. Um, so when, like, I, I, I'm just, I'm trying to understand the, the, thought process behind well you know if you, if you put in a way for when no mechanics are on for people to do repairs how that's taking away money from you um when you as as you know a mechanic are getting paid between four and seven hundred dollars every 10 minutes like i i just i don't understand that and that's what I was trying to ask is, is where you were coming from on that taco. Cause we just talked about, about having the ability for people when no mechanics are on duty to go and do a repair. So if people are on duty, then they're making money from that repair, which is a way for free money. So I, I just don't understand the thought process there. And maybe somebody can help me before we move forward onto the next topic. Or, or if not, that's cool too. Can I address that? Uh, so, so I I appreciate the fact that like if mechanics are on duty, then let's say the old server where there was a Benny's and you could like roll in and and get a repair, right? Uh, what I'm saying is is if someone's on duty, there should not be the ability for someone to even PD to uh, go to MRPD to get a repair because they're not close enough to the on-duty mechanics, right? There, there wouldn't be. It, so that's all, that's all yeah. I was trying to say. No, no, he stated that before it I got be, attacked. It would, but. yeah, it would be when there's no mechanics on duty that it would be available. And it, 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 it's like, sorry, go ahead, man. I'm sorry. It, it, it's similar to like when there's no EMS on, you can still check in with Nancy, and if there's greater than so many. Nancy ignores you and just sends a dispatch to us. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I will say if as mechanics, you guys are really concerned about money, I can guarantee as the original mechanic in the city, if you're there working, you're going to make a lot of money. You just have to be there actually working because all those repairs add up real quick. Especially I can attest to this, that. Yeah, especially in this As city, I... none of us can freaking drive. And I would just add to that, you know, repairs. I agree with that. That's not that the was PD not, contracts. That was not my original point. 
No, it was it, I, that wasn't directed necessarily toward you. It's in general for the mechanics because I, I can actually I was, agree. Yeah, I was one of the original mechanics in the city, and after about a month, <sighs> I could afford anything I wanted because it just you work and you're there. Um, so like that definitely, you know, it, it won't. You guys won't be affected by any changes they make, anything like that. The thing is, too, because when I was working over at the old uh, Lineage Motorworks at the time, out of all the people there, I was pretty much pulling in the most hours at 12 hours. Uh, Boomer can actually agree with me on this because he's actually seen, it was actually me and him both doing 12-hour increments, and we were rolling around well, around the 80 to 100K mark by the end of the month, theoretically speaking. So the money does add up. I'm agreeing with what um, Tree is saying and what Denrick's saying as well. Now, I do understand, like, when he mentioned customization about charging extra, and, you know, and this has been something, I know it's been tossed around at times, because I know, you know, even, I know between AE and Lineage, it's been a topic that's come up at one point, or I think right in AE Open. Um, you know, we that conversation has happened, but, I mean, it's something that, yeah, it kind of sucks that I know, an L, like, an LG pulls up customization, that's an hour, and I know that, and I and I can see that kind of point, oh, you know, it'd be nice to shop to make something from that. Um... But it's at the end of the day, it's not that much in the grand scheme of things compared to I, the repairs and everything else. Nick, I think you can contest to this to most people that if you spend a lot of time upgrading your car, I give you a tip or somebody gives That's you a tip. You guys. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's I mean you guys. sometimes <laughs> sometimes you're 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 doing something to help people out, but the second that you put money towards something that you're trying to make it, then all of a sudden people will look at businesses as cash cows. And I'll want to be a part of that business because I make more money at it. Everything across the city should be even, no matter where you work. Because if you don't, you'll have businesses like we have now that don't do anything because they can't do, they're not like this business over, this mechanics make a lot more money than somebody who works at Burger Shot because of all the added extras. When you put added extras in, no one's going to want to work over there. So that's why we tried to say, hey, this is a, a standard of living that everybody gets. And yeah, if the owners want to hand out a little bonus at the end of the month, great. Sure enough. And you could even do that at Last Train Diner, Burger Shot. Sure, you could do that as well. That's the whole point of it. But not to make it standard. When you do standards... Then it changes everybody's aspect on what we do in the uh, in the city and where it goes. Does does everybody understand that? And Level the, playing you know, the field. biggest thing, like I'm going to use mechanics as an example. Um, you know, biggest thing is you know the mechanic system expands and we need more materials and that impacts the cost of repairs. That's something that I know the shops we can in RP discuss. Like you know, pretty much we all kind of have prices in reflection of each other. Like if all of a sudden we start charging 700 minimum, everyone would just go to lineage because they will charge a lower minimum. I mean, there's nothing set in stone saying that we had to charge that X, Y, Z amount. That was just agreements. So that's where it's all, it's something that's RP. Nothing is set in stone saying that it has to be exactly one way or another. It's just, if you go too much one way, you'll lose business to other people. Uh, it's competition I, in RP. The, there is something that I want to add that just overall, right? Danica said this, that we are, an RP server. Um, so one thing I always try to remind people of is, right, it's about the RP. So if you're working at Burger Shot, you know, you go back there and you're like flipping burgers, right? You're talking to the customers, you're building that interaction. If you're a mechanic, you know, you're working on the car, you know, before you even pull it on the platform, right? You get out, you work on the car, you change the tires, right? That was, that's one of the things that I think we've kind of lost in this city too. And I, I think that that's something that also helped to enhance RP. And that's the reason why we were starting getting tips at the original lineage is because, you know, as a group, we decided, you know what, we need to up this. So, uh, you know, it's just, it's just something for everybody to remember, right? We're here to have fun. We're here to build stories. You know, we're here to 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 hang out with our, our friends, old and new. Um, we, we want you all to have fun. I agree with that 100%. I just wanted to add in real quick. Um, any businesses that are out there that are struggling, 
like a lot of the funds that we take in at Auto Exotic, um, and there's several business owners in here that can probably attest to this. We provide cars, all kinds of stuff for giveaways. Like we don't, we're not just trying to, to, to be a cash cow. Like we try to give back to the city, create the interactions, make sure that the, you know, it stays within the city because everybody's here to have a good time. Um, that's just all, all I wanted to add to that. Am I uh, able to ask a question uh, with something off topic here a little bit? Sure. Backtracking to like the memory wipe coming up for characters. A lot of you guys know that I've been trying and planning stuff for my character um, for a while now. Um, and it's all in plans for future other plans, opening up her storyline more. And I know a lot of us have those really thick, in-depth stories, but that's my biggest concern is those thick, in-depth stories that rely on other people knowing them and remembering them and remembering what happened. So is there a way we can get a little more information on that? Like... Um, I, I will, I, I, I guess I can put it kind of just the simple way right now. And that is you guys, everybody has about two months to finish active stories and then stories reset. Like, like there's no working around that. Um, and whether or not, you know, staff, as, as staff discusses this a little bit more and puts out some additional guidance, you know, there may be certain things that are able to, to carry over, but your interaction, like you aren't going to know a whole bunch of other people, um, in the city. So you are going to be restarting some of those stories. If you want them to continue, um, it, you are going to have to lay some of that groundwork again especially for any any negative type of interaction that may may have occurred between you or somebody else um your backstory may still be the same but you're gonna have to kind of get that back out there into rp um with the wipe um i would say if, if you have concerns about that you can you can open a ticket and chat with staff and or or wait for the additional guidance that we put out about you know the do's and don'ts of of the story wipe as we get closer to the launch of 3.0 okay any other questions No more questions. Okay. So just to recap then, and then we will, uh, we'll end it, um, for the time being, um, we will be releasing over the next week or two, a few final patches, um, to some things in the server, uh, to make life a little bit easier for the remainder of the two dot x lifespan um of of the server um including some changes to crafting and some more items becoming readily available either through pawn shops or other means um for people to be able to to rp and and, and try out some things that they may not have been able to try out yet um as of this evening uh when the server comes back online um the um whitelist requirement has been lifted players are required to be in the discord um and then they have to react to the 
um, thing in start here that that basically gives them the 5M role. Um, and then they're able to go into the server and play for the duration of the 2.x lifespan. Uh, once 3.0 comes back out, uh, whitelist applications will reopen probably shortly before that. Anybody who has not been active in the server um, leading up to that and get the 3.0 whitelist in advance um, will be required to reapply. Um, and stories and things like that will be a wipe when, when that update happens, which we anticipate to be in March at some point. Um, that is not set in stone, um, but we do anticipate March um, sometime within the month of March, and we'll know more as we get involved. Um, the one last thing that I just kind of want to add on to that, as people uh, continue to be active in the server, um, um, let me say that again. If I forget where I was going. Um, as, as we start handing out those 3.0 whitelist roles, um, that will also enable some players to participate in the beta once we roll that out um, sometime next month. Uh, and we'll be able to help test some of the things with 3.0. However, uh, there will be some restrictions on what you can stream and what you can show or what you can even talk about uh, moving forward as, as we kind of shift things around and... and and uh, rebuild some stuff for for three dot um, Is every everybody on the, everybody on the same page? Anybody have any questions about that? Um, hang on one second. Let me answer the question that was here. Question: Even though we reacted to that, do we unreact to it and react to it? So if you go to start here now and react to that post, it will remove your five M tag. So you would have to re. Uh, you'd have to press the button again to get the tag back. So if you remove your own whitelist tag, you got to go give it back to yourself because we're, we're not going to, we won't do that. You'll be able to just react again to get it back. Uh, and then if you want to show you, you know, want to remove your whitelist and don't want to come in, you can hit that button and do that too for, for those that wish to do that. If anybody wants to, I, I mean, I'm not. You control, at this point, you control your ability to play in the server either by logging in or, um, you know, just being here. So uh, with that, I, somebody was going to ask a question and I cut them off. Yeah, I was just going to ask, with the, with the server uh, going to a public to slash open Discord system. kind of thing, the RP sense or the rule, I mean, we're not, toxic people aren't going to come in and just start yeah. shooting up the shitty without recourse. Yeah, there will be strict enforcement of the rules and a zero tolerance policy for that type of behavior. Um, we've met with, uh, staff and, and support and, and, and those guys, um, are going to have some additional ability to just remove those problem players that, that would show up. Um, and, and right. it's kind of a do not pass go, do not collect $200. You're just gone. Um, I have a question on that too. Go ahead. Um, age. Is it the age limit still going to be a thing if it's open? Or are we going to have a bunch of like 12-year-olds in here? The age limit is still 18. However, um, you know, we'll deal with those on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. Yep. Yeah, as, as of right now, the age, uh, you know, we're not lifting that. That is in the rules and the, and the people are saying, which I, I don't, I don't know. Wanna, I don't know if I want to go into that. Um, someone needs to check Oliver's ID. Yeah, so... We're limited in, in well, yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to go into that. Yeah. So the age limit is 18. And if you agree and go into the server, you're, you're saying you're 18. And, um, if we come across a situation where we don't believe that's the case, then we'll deal with that as we have in the past. I'm just waiting for some squeaker to come up to me and say, give me all your that's money, really, please. That's really money hard though, you know, because voice isn't necessarily the best factor in determining that but that's definitely to go one put of them the boy on the microphone real quick. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna yeah. Tell yeah. Like, boy come here <laughs> you may not be able to differentiate differentiate between like a 16 year old and an 18 year old but you right. can certainly differentiate between a 10 year old and an 18 year old not what a voice changer you can. I would, I would you say. You guys are going to hate it when my kid yeah. winds up finding his way in what? here holy shit I'm sorry like, like there's yeah Yes, Sploom. Typically, I would say in most cases, you're correct. You'd be able to differentiate that. 
However, some people are going to be smart. And if some people slip through the cracks, you know, then that happens. Um, oh, we'll absolutely. deal with that as it, as it comes up. But Yeah, but like I said, if, if somebody comes know, in who's 16 years old and we can't differentiate, but he's right. a great RPR, then, then absolutely he should be able to join back in. Correct. Correct. You know, I, I will say so I've been at the in, end. in Sploom, I, you would, I, well, I don't know if you remember or not, but there, there have been people in cities that we were in previous to this that may have said that they were 18, certainly weren't, and they were some of the best our peers I've ever played with. So, Absolutely, 110%. You know, uh, but yes, officially we are an 18 plus server. So we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns? Um, I had a question. Go ahead. Um, I can barely hear so you though. If... Yeah, you're super quiet, dude. Hang on. I'll, I'll uh, say uh, re retired um, or one of the other staff members, if you guys want to go through and just give the whitelist to anybody that's interview pending currently, I'd appreciate that. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. Yeah, Derek, okay. that was better. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, so they were interested in one of the businesses that we know like um like for example i know the vu hasn't been open in a long time since halloween mm -hmm. and i know that that business could be up for grabs in the sense of having a new own going under new ownership or new management i should say and if we're interested in it now do we put in something or should we wait till the till that list comes out it, and then say something until that list comes out you won't be putting in any sop um no I, i'm just you, right like, sh if if you know of a business okay so let me put it this way if you know of a business that's out there that you may be mm -hmm. interested in what i would say is leading up to that over the next couple of months Right. As, as we kind of are in this this transition state where where we are focused, you know, the, and, and let me add this to the focus for everybody that's coming into the server for the next couple of months. Right. Should be to have fun, you know, have a an amazing time just just spending it with the community here and, and try and build those relationships that that aren't necessarily just in game relationships, but, you know, that that turn into that real community cohesion. Um, but if you have, you know, a business that, uh, you know, Hey, this is probably going to be open in 3.0. There's nothing saying you can't reach out to another business that's similar, um, and see if, you know, maybe they'll bring you in to do a few things at their business to try and bring business in there until that opens or just set something up and go in there and, and say, Hey, we're, we're going to take over the business if it's open and the doors are unlocked and you can get in, just, just do it. Like just RP it out um rp it have some fun with it like we're not we're not going to be strict on saying oh no you you know you can't do that um you, you, uh, if the business is open um and there's not an existing gosh. sop that we've already talked to somebody on um then when they come in and start doing that business that would be another story but if it's one that you know right. is not open feel free to, yeah. to set something up or you know since it's kind of a club thing you know there's other club owners that may you know, want to get in with you and, and try and do something at their business that kind of leads to maybe that opening up down the road. So, you know, I would yeah. say approach those, feel free to approach those two. Yeah, no, and, I just... Go ahead. Um, Lineage and Auto Exotic did the whole, like, they came and they hung out with us and we had an amazing time. And I think that's probably why, you know, we, we, we get on each other so much and, you know, there's a... <laughs> really weird uh funny uh, competition between you know between the two shops but um you know they spent time with with lineage to start learning things they worked on cars with us we sent some people over to help them out you know so any business even if it's not the same kind of business if it's a, it's a restaurant or i mean even if it's auto exotic and you want to open a restaurant like go over there and kind of see how they do things and just kind of get an idea um a lot like, of the people that have 
<laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't really work there. Um, I Not work much. everywhere. Um, uh, a lot of the people that have businesses have been with the community for a long time. Um, excellent RPers and, and will give you, you know, advice to help you out. And, and I think this was asked earlier and answered like they're, they're, you know, with, with some businesses being open that, that weren't open previously, some people may be looking to shift things around. Um, I, you know, the, I think Kraken answered that that would be possible. Um, you know, we'll have those conversations, but definitely for the time being, make sure that you're still active and running, uh, you know, your business, um, that you have currently and, uh, jump at those opportunities where, where if somebody approaches you in the city and says, Hey, you know, I want to have a, uh, VU night at, you know, auto exotics, let's have a VU night on auto exotics. You know, who, who cares at this point? Um, have some fun, get, get those, get those interactions and, and focus on those interactions and building those interactions. So when 3.0 comes around, you guys are, you know, ready to go with, with, um, some of that stuff. And then, uh, we'll put right. out information on actually setting up SOPs and how those are going to carry over, um, in advance of us even opening up um, the server for people to start creating their characters. So probably sometime mid next month, we'll be putting out that information. So right. quick question. Hey. Go ahead. When it comes to us opening the server, basically to allow anybody in, are you guys still going to put restrictions on allowing people to become EMS and correct? They still PD have to apply um, for PD and EMS. Um, that will be or, rolled out into the bot here shortly. Um, probably okay. tomorrow because I'm not going to do it tonight because I don't want to. Yeah, I, I just don't want to all of a sudden wind up having some idiot that somehow or another mm -hmm. wound up faking that he's PD trying to pull over yeah, me no, and that, just that. shit loring all over the place. Uh huh, uh -huh sure, uh -huh. military man. <clears throat> hey, 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 uh -oh. hey. Did they have fun? Did they have fun? Were I, they doing anything else that I, was important? I was only partially listening to the stream that I was watching at that time, and then when I heard your voice, I kind of had to shut it off, you know? Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, I would have shut it off, too. <laughs> old man's just waiting for the uh, cop that pulls him over and goes, License and registration, please. Oh, um, me and you are going to be best friends. I, I also want to just touch on one more thing before we close this out. Um, continue to submit bug reports, but know that we are only going to, after the next week or two, when we push some updates to, to kind of lessen some stuff in the city, um, and allow for those interactions to take place and, and, and revamp some stuff. After that point in time, we are only going to be fixing game-breaking things on the current iteration of the framework. But please continue to put in the bug report so we can make sure that it is not something that exists in the 3.0 update. We kind of went through this with the, with the transition from 1 to 2, although that was a much, much longer period than what this is going to be. Um, so some of, some of the old folks that are, that are around will kind of understand that. I think we actually closed bug reports there. We still want those reports because it's still the same. We're still going to be running QB core. It's just going to be rebuilt from the ground up. And uh, a lot of stuff is going to be changed with it. Um, so we still want those reports so we can evaluate, hey, this is something that we actually need to fix moving forward. Or, hey, this isn't an issue. And the bug may just get closed out. And the ticket may just get and, closed out. So, and please, if something feels like it's wrong, tell us. Please tell us because there are things that have been wrong. And people are like, "Oh, I just thought that was a thing." We're like, "No, that's not how that should work." Um, so, if there's something that you feel is wrong, right? Like, you know, put in that report. Um, I I know a lot of people have have messaged me things, and I'll message you real quick, right? Um, if people message me, I'll let you know, hey, that's something you need to, to put in, in the server. Or if it's something I can answer real quick, right? I, I will answer that for you. But let us know, like, if something feels off, you know, say something. So we'll since you know. we're going to be doing the reset eventually, can we make my C10 go to ludicrous speed? No. <laughs> Waiting for that. Can I have the Tesla? I, I do have one question. <laughs> Um, yes. Regarding, uh, you know, the, the the reset that's impending, a lot of our pricing, like 
and I'm sure maybe we can, this is something that'll be addressed with the business owners later. A lot of our current pricing is set to reflect the economy as it mm-hmm. is now. Um, also, you know, a lot of times people say we charge too much for repairs, et cetera, but we do that not to make money. We do it to try and make people drive properly, respect their vehicle, you know, so to speak. Right. Um, with the wipe coming up, do we need to have a business owners meeting to look at our current pricing? We will, because the economy will be completely different in the new, in 3.0. Uh, I don't want to say okay. completely different. It's going to be more balanced and, um, you know, prices are going to fluctuate up and down based on that balance. So, you know, it, it, because the economy isn't set yet. So some of this is just hypothetical. If you're making more money, prices may be higher than what they are now. Or if you're making less money, of course, prices would need to come down to, to kind of create that balance. So we will meet with um, business owners and active business owners will probably be some of the early, early people that get in. Um, to the beta as well. So to kind of help set some of that stuff. Just just uh, saying another another thing to for you to stay active and, and be in the server uh, and and be out there and is so you can be a part of the beta. Five nine zero. I don't know if there's any possible way, but like one, for those people one, that can't nine, drive Q, is there any way that we can uh you know a car is too far gone that the mechanics can't uh, repair just it. It's nine, just gotta just go to one, the salvage yard. You guys will be out of cars in a week. Not all of Pretty us. Much. I, I, not, even a, not even a week. Try three days. Not even a week. TV would be out of a fleet in like no time. I'm I'm sorry. Well, cars will be in the scrapyard already. So How there you go. I missed that from, like, question. One garage to. Live. What was the original question? At... About having cars that are like if you if, um. Since that person is no longer here, Winter San- Sanchez is a perfect example <laughs> crashing into everything. <laughs> it, you know, the car is just too far gone. The mechanic can't, you know, it's it's, it's broke, broke. It's just got to go to the junkyard. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that. Like crazy. Well, like, no, like from an RP standpoint uh, and an owner of one of the mechanic shops, I do have, we, we, we have the ability to say this car is going to take us a while and we have rental cars that we can give the player, um, that we can assign to the player and they'll have some, they'll still have something to drive around, but like we we we've done it on occasion like where a car comes in just completely toasted and we're we're busy and we're like hey this you know we'll say something like hey this is going to take us a couple days you know leave your car with us give us your keys here's a rental vehicle you know th- th- there is a way to do it in rp correct and i would say i i would like to see um, just, just kind of an overall thing. I think I mentioned this. I don't remember who it was. It was one of the mechanics, um, or somebody, uh, that I, that we just okay. had this, th- this conversation about was, I would like to see more of the, the people that bring their cars in for these mass upgrades and stuff. I want to see more of, uh, of the mechanics saying, I think it was, I think it was, uh, Bonnie and taco, um, where we, we had this conversation with like, Hey, when somebody brings a car in and, and they want you know, armor and, and engine and brakes and, and all of this stuff, right? All these upgrades, give them a rental car, make them wait. Like it, it shouldn't, you should never feel pressured as a mechanic that you have to get something done right away. Um, and, and that adds to the RP of it too. You know, um, for instance, I, you know, my, my car just went into the shop to, to get some warranty work done on it and uh a, a recall and, and they ended up calling and saying you know hey we can't get it today you, you have to come back to get a rental car um so like like that happens in real life and i'd like to see some more of that actually happen in the city too um with with police sometimes being the the exception you know pd and ems because they do have to get back out there um so you know they can revive the person that just blew themselves up or whatever 
Um, you know, but I, I'd like to see more of that actual in-depth RP going on between mechanics and clients. And and uh, I know there was at one time um, Lineage had the had the soundboard. I don't know if if I think Auto Exotics had it too. I don't know if that still works or if or if you guys have adapted that at all to fit uh, PMA voice and in, in working what we do now. Um, but yeah, you know, only one person had that Denrick, and he's no longer in the server anymore. He had that, and I was I asked that guy for months for it, so I can do it myself, but it never happened. I'm pretty sure. Hey, I I ran it too. Perfect. Um, yeah, there were a couple AE, people that had but, it. I know it was based on Teamspeak. Over, yeah, it was because it was a it was a uh, it was a sound effects plugin board that you could use through TeamSpeak, and I just haven't found a viable one yet for PMA. So I'll, I'll tell you what, um, there's some things that we can do from a development standpoint that can kind of bring sounds in and, and get them to, to play on, on your person. So if we can't find something for, for people to use by default, right, we can look at building that in with, with like a command it'll do, you know jackhammer sound or whatever and 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 uh you just run a command and actually play the sound so um who, whoever has those sounds or whatever just just open up a ticket and we'll talk about that and talk about including that for 3.0 uh, because we can we actually have some items which uh never um so somebody was working on it and, and it never got finished um but there there was some recordings and stuff that that we were doing that are actually playable on an item um, and you'd actually just use the item in your inventory and it would actually play the, the recording. And um, I'm not going to get into too much more of that because that might be still be something that we, we finish for 3.0, but we have the ability to manipulate sound and, and play sounds on person. So um, just, just get with me on that. Um, and, and we'll kind of work on some of that. Uh, Denric question. So yep. obviously moving into 3.0, is there things in city, say for example, like store robberies, jewelry store, banks and all that stuff, uh, are they going for a revamp as well? Um, some of it we just did. So like the bank robberies just, just revamped. I don't think mm -hmm. we're going to do too much with those um, going into the new one. Um, but there'll be a feedback and we'll probably do a form or something for some feedback um, that kind of asks the community what you like and what you don't like too. And then we'll take that into some consideration. Um, some of the store robberies and things like that will probably be revamped for 3.0. Because that was on the list anyway. Um, but the bank robberies, I would say no. Not planned currently. Um, I, I know some jobs are going to be going to be changed. Um, you know, the trucking job, we're going to have a whole new, new trucking job. And um, that works completely different. And uh, I'm really excited for that and to share more about that in the future. Uh, you'll probably see me uh, doing a video on that actually prior to the 3.0 launch. That I'll either post an in-depth video or something because it's going to be pretty cool and it's pretty in-depth. So, um, but yeah, everything, everything, I, I guess I can just add everything in the server is being evaluated. Um, and as we kind of go through and, and, and make those determinations, you know, some stuff the staff has on our list is like, you know, Hey, we really don't like the way that this has worked or we really don't like, you know, this. So we're going to look to change those. Um, and then there will be a community feedback, um, system as well, probably a Google doc or something where we allow people to submit feedback, um, on what they like and what they don't like and target certain things as well. That'll come out in the, in the coming weeks. Any other questions? Uh, I do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, just wondering about the cars from the Tebex stores. Yeah, the cars from the Tebex stores will carry over because that was a purchase thing. Um, I, okay. and we've we've already addressed that. There, in in there will be a process that you have to go through to get those. Um, because it is a full database wipe too. So, uh, you know, we'll have that information, and then you'll have to put in a ticket, and then we'll kind of hand those out, um, to people. Um, what they have and match it up to what, what we had already in the database from, from 2.0, um, once you create your new characters, but that'll, that'll come, that'll come really close to the launch. And if something, you know, since, since that's going to be sometime in March is what we're anticipating, 
um, you know, you have some time. I know, Cap, you have some issues with your with your PC, and a couple other people do as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if those aren't resolved go, by go. then, then, you know, we'll work something out with you and, and, um, hold off until that does get resolved for you, but we'll, we'll take care of you. Um, and I think, I think we've already put that out there that whoever's in possession of the vehicle. So, so even if you didn't necessarily buy one or, or one was bought for you or whatever, um, it doesn't go off of the, the Tebex receipt. It's going off of who's in possession of that vehicle now. So when somebody, you know, creates a new one and puts in the ticket to get that car, um, that would then tell us, okay, yep, this person did have it in 2.0 and they're going to get it. So if you've, you know, bought a, a Tebex car from the used car dealer or somebody gave it to you, whatever, you would be able to carry that over to a new character. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the character that you had it had uh, originally. Okay. So we're, we're, we're going to be pretty open with that. I got a question on that. Go ahead. So what? what uh, so I buy a lot of cars from the uh, used car dealership. Uh, would I know if it's a Tebex car or not? We'll put out a list. Okay. Um, basically everything, just about everything I, that's down in the. Um, real quick, Denner. There's um, actually an easy way for people to tell if you go into the visible garage and you walk up to each one of your cars. If it does not have a pricing yeah. on there, it is a Tebex car. Correct. Because it shows the price of the car, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yes, it so does. It, I, I've already had to go through, so I did my list. But that is the easiest way for you as a player without having them to have to verify. Yeah. So if you go in uh, to the the actual garage and look at your cars, it, it would show the price as $0. All yeah, but I have so many cars that <laughs> I don't see them all. How many cars do you got? Uh, 20 or so it doesn't show them all in the garage. 22. That's how many he has. 22. <laughs> no, the, the, the garage shows up 40. to 60 um, or Originally 40. it didn't, but now it does hold 40 in there now. The first day it didn't show all 40, but it does Right, because there was some issues with, with a few cars that was preventing that from happening that we fixed. Yeah. So. Because it shows like all 38 of mine. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to see Jesus. them, and if not, then there's something there's something wrong with one of your cars. Yeah, I, so you I don't see my pants. Anyway. Okay. I give cars away, and I end up You're, with more cars at Jesus, the end. You yeah. you won't even keep the and panto. Also, don't worry about the panto. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If I get Panto's a great car, bro. I might not see it, you know. Yeah. Um. Like I said, we'll we'll put out a list though, um, as well. We'll put out a list and, and uh, you know, because there's some that, that aren't, like, I know you can go to the donator shop down at the airport and see what's being sold right now. That's not all of the cars that we've offered, though, through Tebex, so, so there will be a list. We actually have the list. Staff has a, li a comprehensive list already. We will just put out in Discord somewhere that list as it gets closer. And if you have one of those cars, then you would need to put in. Um, a ticket. Now, anything that's through like the import dealership, which was paid for in-game currency, that doesn't transfer. Um, but it's only the Tebex cars that transfer. Um, and then we'll talk about what, what people will get as they come in, you know, the first however many days of the server or whatever as it gets closer. Um, but for the time being, I don't want anybody to worry about that now. We still, you know, have, it could be two months, uh, you know, a month and a half at, at least. Uh, before March is even here. So, you know, focus right now on just having some fun, getting in city, being active, uh, so you can get that 3.0 whitelist role without having to reapply. Any other questions? Comments, concerns? All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. Uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> That's okay. No, go ahead. If you have a question, ask now or forever hold your peace. This Are might be the last time for a while. Are you in the city for me? No. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Can Chubby get his tugboat so I have to stop hearing about it? No. Please. <laughs> so with the influx of these people with the open server... Uh, you know we're going to get douchebags and shitlords and assholes that roll in here. You know, everyone knows that. I know that. Everyone else knows. That. Just put a damn ticket so we can get rid of them faster than sooner than later, okay? Right. So, 
Um, yeah, I, I would just say definitely if you see something in the city, if staff is in the city and they are made aware of something through a ticket, um, I don't think the in-game reports, I don't think we even have that turned on and we probably won't. Um, but I, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll clarify that in the coming days. Um, but like if you throw in a ticket and staff's in the city and, and they see, or, or we see it like on a stream or something, we're just going to act on it. Um, but um, throw but in the ticket so we know... Uh, in case staff isn't around, because staff in, in support aren't in the city, you know, 24 hours a day. Because uh, we just we can't that, be, so. Uh, with the influx, obviously, like, the majority of us know who, you know, who in Discord is linked to which characters in the city, typically. Um, with the influx, you know, we're not going to know this offhand. Get Are the, we going to... Get the number, just do hit page up and get their server number. Because staff okay, can tell so you, who that is at, at any given time. Even so, if they've logged out? Correct. Um, okay. Yeah, because we log... Um, let me let me actually make sure. I know that this is the case, but now I'm second-guessing yeah, myself. Just, but when just somebody because, uh, joins, it tells, us, it tells us their server ID, their name, their Discord name, and all that stuff. We log all that in. Um, okay. And then when they leave, it, you know, it also logs that they've left. And then we also track deaths and things like that. So, um, you know, okay. we know we, we have an idea. Well, like we don't, I'll just add, we don't go in there. There's only a couple of logs channels that we look at regularly as staff, unless something comes up to where we have to look at it. Um, but we'll be keeping a closer eye on that stuff too. So, okay. Uh, but yeah, th like I said, there's zero tolerance for, for a lot of that stuff. So um, if you see, um you know you you may come across a situation where you, you know a, a PD or EMS or somebody you know something's going on and then all of a sudden somebody just isn't there anymore that's because staff has dealt with it before you even had to put in a ticket so just, just so know. aliens abducted them right in front of your eyes and just Correct. walk away and keep with keep keep with if you're going to mention something at all and say oh you know aliens or something like don't you don't even have to just kind of move on and carry on um and i would also add if somebody comes in and goes out of character or something do not please 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 do not go out of character yourself stay in character and try and you know push up push through it the best that you can that's something that we've said a lot but we've seen a couple instances lately where that hasn't been the case so please, 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 please stay in character no matter what's happening. Uh, or try I, your best to. If I may add to that, um, I know there's been a, a giant turkey that's been running around from time to time. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't, I don't <laughs> think that's, uh, that's a normal thing. I know some people might like uh, it. I, I think it's kind of it, weird. But, it's uh, from I a story. If you would like to give me that item, um, I would appreciate it. On any yeah. of my characters, the oh, turkey knows who they are. I, I know. I'll give them our next time you I just come find me. Yeah, oh, we know who the turkey oh, is. Oh, if I see that turkey gun, I'm shooting it. Um, yeah, uh, the turkey's gonna attack me. Shooting you. dingles, damn. You the never funny know. thing is that we were getting we were getting police reports saying that a turkey's kidnapped my my boyfriend, and my kid uh, turkey's kidnapped my friend. Can you find out where this turkey is? Like, I don't know. It, <laughs> Nitro's probably seen this a couple of times too, saying, why is there a random turkey running around the city? Yeah, so it was, for, for those that were around, it was a Thanksgiving <laughs> uh, special event, and there's just a few of those items that have been left over that, uh, you know, people ever. hadn't used. But... <laughs> yeah, it's, Jingles, it's, yeah, it's, it's all of them. I think you Jingles is the only one that has them, and I can probably confirm <laughs> that with the database, but we're just going to go on and say the turkey is nah, kind of... Ralph kind has of, one. I mean, the turkey was got, kind of over now. But you never know, you may see I mean, some magic happen in the city, who knows? It was a funny There's scenario, though. Aliens and stuff may be back. God damn. With that, I will say that the uh, the server has turned back on, um, and you guys are free to log in and uh, have some fun. Uh, no, no, uh, there's a couple of minor updates I think that we pushed out with crafting and and something else today. Oh, I think we finally took down the Christmas lights. I think that was pushed to live today, and a couple minor fixes with with the phone system. Um, just minor things that aren't really player facing, but, uh, I'm not putting out dev notes, so.
don't look for that. I'm not putting those out tonight because it's not worth. Are we it. ever gonna get? Is a that the fact of? Um, <sighs> I, I'll I'll probably say no on that. Uh, the garage app probably <sighs> isn't coming back. Um, and the reason for that is is this: the functionality that existed in the garage app um, was very basic. And with the new garage system, with you being able to transfer your vehicles to whatever garage, there's really no need for that anymore. Um, okay. However, we may... Well, no, I wouldn't even say that. Because the, the new garage system will tell you if your car is already out somewhere. And it won't let you transfer it. So, um, But it doesn't let you track. Well, that's your fault for losing your car. Well, come on. Can't, well, oh, could, is that something that can be implemented? Where it we may, something we have to pay extra? I know we used to go and put the alarms on the cars. We may, we may look at uh, bringing back um, tracking, but nobody can really steal your car unless you give them a well, key. So um, I will well, say that the whole phone system is changing in 3.0. It'll be a completely different phone system. And there is a small chance that that actually goes live at a time so people can test that. Um, but we'll, we'll so I take you know. it that you fix the WhatsApp disappearing messages as well. Because sometimes when I log in and go to my WhatsApp, all my messages disappear, and I have to go to a phone contact who's online, send a WhatsApp message to actually see the message. Has that been fixed? I didn't even know that that was happening. So, oh, oh okay. Um, but it it is a completely well, different phone together. system. So it's not using any of the basis. I, I, so I will say this, the one thing I really don't care if we see a bug on is the, unless the phone doesn't open, I don't care to see bugs because it will be a completely different phone system in, in 3.0. Um, and we may push that, like I said, we may push that live ahead of time um, because it, it's kind of new and, and there may be some some weirdness with that. Um, but it's a new system that that it's wi being widely adopted um, throughout the 5M world. So I'm I'm excited for it. And then uh, the, the meeting is officially over. If anybody has any other last minute questions or whatever, feel free to ask them. But uh, I want to see a bunch of people uh, jump in the city. 